Good morning! Welcome to another moving vlog. There is still stuff to do. I have updates I want to show you. We have some new furniture coming in and it's all really fun but there is still a lot that needs to be done. This morning, very unrelated, I'm gonna go to Barnes & Noble. <laughs> I have been on the hunt for a new Bible for quite some time now. I've had this Bible for years now. It was one that my parents gave me when I got married and I have loved it and I think I have used it to a point where it's just getting a little bit too messy. I think it is time to get a new one and I really want to take notes a specific way I think because I've had this one for seven years now there's stuff all over the place there's different pens different notes I feel like when I first got this bible I didn't really know how I wanted to take notes in the bible I was kind of just like highlighting stuff it was just kind of random and now I am really happy with the way that I've been doing my bible study long story short I've been looking for a new bible I wish there was a bible that had like a really big amount of space to take notes I ended up finding one actually and and I was so excited about it, but it is just a bit too unrealistic for me. It is massive. It's heavy. It's got this big spiral bound. The thing that I don't like about it is that, well, one, it's too big for me to just kind of like take with me. It would be an at-home study Bible, but the margin where you can take notes isn't lined. So I just feel like it's going to end up looking messy. I tried to use it, but see, I feel like I'm sounding silly, like being too like fussy with my Bible, like just get a Bible and read it. I have been looking on Amazon and I just feel like I need to see something in person so hopefully this Barnes & Noble have a few that I can see and I think it's also an excuse to just go to Barnes & Noble. We have this room in our house that I want to call the reading room. Right now it just has our desk in it and it's where I've been working but my dream for the room is to have a big oversized chair which we just bought last night actually. Bookshelves, maybe a piano and it can just be this really relaxing room. If I get bookshelves then I think I'm going to read more paper books. I you know I love my Kindle. I read my Kindle so much. Long story short, I'm going to Barnes and Noble. And then I think I might try to get another frame. There's a couple things I need to get, but I do want to show you some of the updates inside. Okay, let's go to Barnes and Noble. I'll let you know what I find. All right, so I got done at Barnes & Noble. Didn't buy anything. I honestly didn't even look at the novels. I just looked at the Bibles, saw my book, which was so cool. It's always so weird going in there and being like, it's still there, but it's so cool. Anyway, it was actually very helpful, and I placed an order on Amazon of a Bible that I saw in there. It, I just wanted a different translation than the one that I saw, but I liked the layout of it. It'll either be coming tomorrow or the day after, so I'm excited for that. Then I decided to go to Hobby Lobby because I was searching on my phone for like a place to get frames because I still have a print from my last vlog that I haven't framed yet and I just don't know where to get like a good frame for it. So I went to Hobby Lobby because it was the first thing that popped up and I was like, yeah, they probably have a bunch of frames and I, they don't. They don't have any like poster frames unless I was looking in the wrong section. I could not find any poster frames. But you know what I did find? Christmas stuff. Christmas stuff? I was really shocked but equally excited. I was like, Christmas is just such a fun time of year, but I did get some stuff I will show you. The first thing that I got was this little laundry sign. It was $6.99, maybe even less because they are having a sale on this weekend. I looked at it and I put it back and I was like, I'll find one like this online. Like, let me have a look. That is just my toxic trait is that I will find something cute and be like, let me look at other options online, like just in case there's something nicer. So I put it back, but then I ended up picking it up again because for $6.99, it's very cute. I would then have to pay shipping and probably if I found like a nicer one online it would be more expensive. I think it'll be really cutesy on the door so I got that. I got two of these. The second one is like a different flower but I thought that would look really pretty hung up somewhere. Maybe in Makaya's room or the guest bedroom. I'm going to go to a grocery store and get some stuff for dinner. Today is Friday when I'm filming this and Saturdays we take as our like rest days like our Sabbath and I want to do a dinner tonight with the family because Gabe has been traveling these last couple days. We haven't had like a family dinner. Even though it's just me, Gabe, and Micaiah, and she's still a bit young to kind of understand dinner time and hanging out together and stuff like that. I just think it's sweet habits to like implement even this early on. Oh my gosh, my friend showed me this recipe for a bone broth hot chocolate, and I have been wanting it all the time. She first introduced it to me because it's good for when you're on your period, but it tastes so yummy. You can't even taste the bone broth, it's just such a nice, sweet, warm, cozy drink. I might go home and make some and I'll show you. It is Friday afternoon. Makara and I have had a lot of fun. Haven't we? We've had so much fun. And we were just making some brownies. I already had a bit of a taste test, but made some brownies. Yeah. 
Gabe has just been at a haircut, but he's on his way home now. So we set the table, didn't we, for our dinner? And we are just doing pesto chicken, one of my favorite go-to easy things to do. You coat chicken thigh in pesto, put it in the oven for 30 minutes, and it's so yummy. We FaceTimed my family, and that was fun. Kaya, can you say dada? Dada. Dada. Ka. We're having the pesto chicken with some broccoli and then some like mashed cauliflower. Anyway, when she is down for the night, I will show you guys some of the updates. I badly want to show you this room. It's our favorite room of the house. Good morning. I don't even know what the last thing I vlogged was. I know it was Friday night, Friday afternoon. It's now Sunday morning. I'm a little bit under the weather. Makaya has had a little cold pretty much all week. We think she got it from Sunday school, like from church with the other little kids. Today's Sunday, we're not at church. We didn't want to repeat that. We didn't want to take her to Sunday school and then get another kid sick. I woke up this morning just I felt like I had like a swollen neck like a full swollen throat that's pretty much all I have at the moment like I don't have a runny nose or anything but I'm like no what bad timing I feel like every time you get sick is bad timing there's never a good time to get sick but I'm just hoping that it's just like a 24 hour thing and we have family coming this week which I'm really excited about but I want to get the house like more in order for when they come I think I'm gonna ask Gabe to put up the laundry sign that I got the other day which would be really cute well Everyone. The goal for this room is to kind of be like a library, like reading room. I'd love an upright, like old piano. As you can tell, <laughs> we've made a lot of progress. It's where I'm kind of doing my work. It is just the neglected room of the house for now. But I found these bookshelves on Ikea and I would love if I could to fit two on the wall. I think I will actually. It would be like about this much on each side. Do you think that would look good or would it look weird that there's a gap? Oh, that looks sick. Okay, It'd I might like do that. be the whole wall. Ikea is gonna be the, the cheapest way to go. Putting like two next to each other. Yeah, that one looks really good too. So. Gabe and Micaiah have gone on a little walk. So I thought I would use this time to update. A couple of house updates. I did also get my new Bible. And I'm excited because I have some Bible supplies <laughs> coming this afternoon. But I just thought I would show you. This is the one that I ended up going with. NIV Journal the Word Bible. And what I like about it is that it's like a hardcover front and back. So if I'm writing, it's like, you know, flat is great for writing notes so this is what it looks like <laughs> okay what should i show you so this is our living room and we recently got tv hung but we just plugged it all in yesterday and so we still need to hide that little wire that's there we need to hide that i think this looks really pretty i've never had a frame tv kind of out in a room where it can actually look like a frame obviously like we're not fooling anyone that's obviously not a frame in the past we've had tvs like above fireplaces which i just feel like they just look like tvs you know so i'm excited to kind of just have it in this area it looks really pretty and then on tuesday we are getting a couch to go here we got it from ashley furniture on sale we walked in not even realizing that they had a sale only a couple days ago so that's gonna go there which will really tie in this room a lot and also just right now we aren't using this room i mean we have a movie room we have a projector so that's where we're watching like tv if we want to watch something so it'll be nice to kind of have a separate casual hang spot with a tv if the boys are playing like video game or something like if we have friends over people can sit out here and still like hang out the art looks really good like there's no glare where i am right now it looks cool by the way if you have a frame tv i get my art off etsy it might be like two dollars three dollars and then you just save it to your phone and add it to the app super easy okay let me show you the movie room so ta -da! This is our movie room. This is one of my favorite rooms in the house. I just love that we painted pretty much floor to ceiling, including the ceiling. Originally, we had only painted the walls, but then the trim was white, the ceiling was white, the doors were white, but I will show you. We painted the back. This is currently Gabe's Lego storage, but it is changing. This isn't staying in here. How cute is this? A little old like wooden wardrobe. It's not staying in here. We are ordering something else. But I just love this room. It also gets really dark. We can like shut off those doors as well. So it gets really dark during the day too. So we got this couch from Rooms to Go. We have just been really trying to find like more affordable options for furniture. So we went to Ashley, we went to Rooms to Go. And this was one of their more affordable couches at Rooms to Go. In my opinion, it was the nicest one there. 
comes with this ottoman. So now if we have people over, everyone can kind of lay and have their legs out instead of just like the two ends. So this room has been getting a lot of use and I just plugged in the piano yesterday, which is nice. Micaiah loves playing piano. So that was really nice having, like I got to play a little bit yesterday. We are getting a storage cabinet or like bookshelves or something. And we're putting it there for all of his Legos on display. And then we still have boxes and stuff. We eventually want to get an electric drum kit there. Gabe has wanted one for years and years and years. And so we have the space for it. This will be the, the perfect place for it. We still don't have a closet, but hopefully in a couple weeks, it's now September. We ordered the closets at the start of August. And I think he said like between one and two months, hopefully I'm so excited for that to come in because right now, I mean, it's just a mess. <laughs> Suitcases and like wardrobe boxes. There's two baby deer. Oh, there's three. There's three baby deer outside. Oh my gosh. Okay, sorry. So these go all the way across like this. The reason we did this is because this room used to be really big and so we added a wall so we could have the closet behind there but the issue with adding the wall is that the door that was centered to the room is now like here so it's very off-centered so my solution for that was to have curtains floor to ceiling curtains going wall to wall to kind of give the illusion that there's more doors and windows this way first of all you can't even tell when it's closed and I just think it looks really nice and then we had this get installed just kind of like a trim to hide the tracks that the curtains are on. But every morning now, we just get to open this up and it kind of just feels like I'm in a hotel. And we got all of this on Amazon, by the way. I can link the stuff that we got below. It's just customizable. So you like measure out your space and then you get like the exact right size for the tracks. But what's also really nice is at the back, we have the blackout so we can make the room dark, but we also have the more like sheer ones in front, which is like a hotel, you know? I love how this turned out like that if we just wanted like a little bit of light coming in. But at the moment we keep both open all the time until like nighttime and then we close it up. See like behind here, it's just wall, but I feel like this gives a better like illusion because you like don't really know what's behind here. That's my opinion. <laughs> I feel like that was our best way to fix it and to kind of like center this wall a little bit better. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. There is a deer there. Then there's two down here. They're little babies. Oh my God. I could just sit out there all day. It's so cool. Alrighty, so this is our laundry at the moment. It is kind of a big square and nothing is really going on. But babe, I didn't did I show you this the other day? Oh, uh, that's really good. I got that from, this on the door. and so I got these, I don't know, can they be used with it or is that something else? Because they were just black screws. Yeah, I'm sure that's what you use on this. We'll see. As you can tell, I'm not a handyman. Anyway, we just got a quote to put some cabinets in this room, which I think is really going to make such a difference. I will show you the designs that he put together and I really like it. I wanted somewhere to hang some clothes and I wanted cabinets. So I think this will look really good because right now it's just like, we just need Super. so much storage. Organized. You should also move these. The way these came, the doors open towards each other, which is not that big of a deal, but also like I'm OCD, so. But also, this is washer dryer. In my mind, it should be washer dryer. Right now, it's dryer washer. Oh, uh, like you wash it, then you move to then the you right. Dry. And you dry. Yeah, yeah. Unless you read going from left to right, then everything flows the other way. Do you mean right to left? Right to left, because there are some <laughs> cultures that read the opposite way. <laughs> I don't know if I'm doing this right, to be honest. I was gonna say, when he knows how to use a screwdriver. That's what this is, a screwdriver. What is that? Not a drill, it's a I screwdriver. Do. When he knows how to use a screwdriver. <laughs> that looks good. That looks, that looks, great, looks so actually. cute. Cute. Anybody need a screwdriver? when he knows how to use a screwdriver. <laughs> this is literally the first like intentional addition to this reading room. And it's the little- That's not even supposed to be there, right? No. Uh, the desk is not meant to be there, but it just is at the moment. Cute, I think that's pretty. Little entrance into the library, the future library. That's really pretty. There's a zit back here. <laughs> Gosh, like, are you flexing? Uh, sorry, I just got this zit back here. Cute. I love it. 
Okay, so Gabe has just been putting this up. We've been trying to figure out for so long where to put this and this just seems like the best spot pretty much in the whole house. So that's where it's gonna go. We could put like Bible verse on it or a little drawing. The options are endless. Done. Looks so good, thank you. I like that it has this bar, can you pull it through? Yeah, that looks nice. The boy and his screwdriver. Okay, we got some Amazon stuff in the mail. I think this is my Bible supplies. Kaya, what is this one, honey? You see it? Okay, should we open the next one? Kaya, what's in? Oh, you like that one? Oh, it's heavy. Good job. Whoa. This is the dupe for the free people like long jumpsuit. So I got it in this like kind of greeny brown color. Do you like it? You're standing. Can you wipe my nose? Bless you. I'm just doing the dishes and we got this the other day. I've never heard of it before. Bonami, a scratch-free powder cleanser. We got this from Sprouts, but it seems like it's been around for a long time. America's original natural home cleaner. I just thought I'd show you. Our sink is amazing, but I don't know what the material is. It's not porcelain and I was worried that it would get dirty really easy. So the sink is wet and I'm just going to like put this all on the sink and then like let it sit for a second and then I'll just scrub it off. But I thought I'd show you if you're in need of a good like sink cleaner. It says that you can use it in the kitchen, on cookware, in the bathroom, tile, tubs, vanities. And it's really good. It has five ingredients and one of them is baking soda, which is really good for cleaning your sink. Something I love about my sink. This is the brand K-R-A-U-S. I don't want to pronounce it wrong. Kraus. Is that it comes with like indents i guess up the top and so what you get with it is this drying rack and it just sits right like right there you can sit it anywhere and then it also comes with a chopping board isn't that so cool and i just got this on amazon and i was kind of just searching for i don't know in a affo more affordable like white sink i didn't want to get anything crazy and i found this and it's so cool i just thought i'd show you i don't know the chances that someone is renovating the house or building the house and they need to find a sink i will leave this below for you but now i can kind of just leave this to dry and there you go i love it i'll just leave my gloves here too <laughs> who knew you'd get excited about sinks about toilets the amount of research i did for my toilet okay i'm gonna make the bone broth hot chocolate so i'm gonna make enough for me and gabe two cups of bone broth i use just this like organic bone broth then i'm going to do the same two cups of milk two tablespoons of cocoa powder i just have this one from whole foods okay then half a teaspoon of vanilla extract Maple syrup is really up to how sweet you want it. I'll probably put in two, maybe three tablespoons of maple syrup. Okay, it is Tuesday afternoon. Kai just went down for a nap and I am getting sick. Today we had planned on recording two podcast episodes. I got through one, but by the end of it, I was just like declining. You know when you're getting a cold, the head is just like stuffy and sore. I'm just gonna try to take it easy the rest of the day. Probably while Makai naps, I might lay in bed with my computer and try and get some stuff done while I'm laying down. Exciting things is we have a furniture delivery happening probably within the next hour. Let me check the tracking. I can see like where the delivery truck is. Okay, they have been at Home Depot for like an hour and a half. I'm like, what are you doing at Home Depot? We have some stuff coming that I will show you. A couch and a big oversized reading chair, which I'm really excited for. My little like reading room is starting to come together. Well, this will literally be the first like proper intentional piece of furniture in the room. And I just ordered the bookshelves from Ikea. I think they're coming in next week, maybe. Last night, I ordered some frames off Amazon and they already came in. I'm so excited. I have been, in my last vlog you saw, I was kind of antique shopping for frames because I just love the look of old wooden frames. I wasn't finding like the right amount. I still had three more things that I really wanted to frame. So I honestly really like these. I think they're really nice. So this 16 by 20, and then I got these two 11 by 14s and they're just like nice light wood. No has water on it okay <gasps> i've had this print for a couple weeks now and i just feel like things keep getting on it but um it is the how great thou art print that i showed in my last vlog the girl who makes these on etsy by the way watches my videos i like messaged her on instagram she's so sweet and she said that you guys brought her a lot of business which is really really sweet so i don't know thank you for supporting her Ooh. 
looks so good. I need to fix it a little bit. It's like, it doesn't perfectly fit this frame, which is confusing, but that looks so good. Aww. I just framed these. So I got these done a while ago. I really wanted some family art in the house that was just a bit different and really cool. These were done by a girl called Emily and I've been so excited to frame these. I just didn't have anywhere to put them in our old house. And so I knew like once we moved into this house, I would frame them and they're so cute. Here they are. They are really pretty line drawings and they just turned out really, really precious. So I'm excited to like hang those somewhere in the house. That would just look so cute. So I'm very happy. I have all the things framed that I wanted framed. I'm excited to put them up. I'll show you once they're up, but oh my gosh, so cute. Micaiah has gone down for the night and I thought I'd give you some updates. Hi, Cape. Hello. This is the kind of like reading room that I'm gonna create. There's just like so much like filler stuff in here for now, but we got the big chair. It's called the chair and a half. And then we got the ottoman from Ashley. And then we'll have bookshelves behind here, which I think will be really cool, really cozy. Get some lamps. So that came. And then for this room, this couch came, which looks so good and fits the space perfectly. So now we have this little living area and it's actually the same collection as that other chair, but just in like the sofa style. It's really nice. It's really deep and like actually pretty comfy. So this will be nice to like sit and watch or sit and play games. Hi buddy. Hey guys, it is now Friday and I think the last time I filmed was Tuesday. I got sick. I got it really bad. On Wednesday, I was just like out. It was one of those sicknesses where like I could not even focus on my computer. I couldn't, I just like had to lay down. It was terrible, but I'm so much better now. I would say I'm like almost 100%. Thankfully, it didn't last very long. And Micaiah is pretty much 100% too house is still a work in progress. We still have boxes everywhere. I'm like, how long is it going to take for us to fully unpack? We have Gabe's brother and sister-in-law and their two boys in town, which is really exciting. So I think we're going to go to a little farm today that have like a little petting zoo. It's going to be so cute. Thank you for hanging out with me and I will see you in my next vlog, which I'm filming in a couple days. So it'll be out very, very soon. Also, this month is really exciting. I have something so exciting happening. So stay tuned. I will see you guys soon. Bye. I don't know why I just gave you a kiss. I literally have never done that. I'm really sorry. Anyway, I will see you in my next video. Bye.